Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to September of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this video, this reading, this message finds you well. So in this video, we are going to be looking at the month of September from the point of view of Libra rising in terms of true sidereal astrology. If you are not familiar with true sidereal astrology, if you've never seen it before or anything like that, then you have found yourself in the right place. Yes. Please make sure to like that, smash that like button for me. Please leave me a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know how this resonates for you. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more readings from the True Sidereal System and also just for more general tarot readings. Yes, we are going to be getting into more readings for the signs later on in the month, and those will be non-denominational when it comes to uh, the signs, whatever you resonate with or whatever energy you're looking for, just tune into the sign. But but in this situation, we're going to be looking at energies for the month from the true sidereal system. And now when I talk about what's going on with the planets in terms of the houses and where they are placed in astrology, this is going to be from a Libra rising perspective. So it may not be as accurate for you. Of course, if you're a Libra sun or a Libra moon, it still could resonate for you. But when it comes to the exact placements of the planets in the houses and all that, it's not going to be the same because we're looking at this from the point of view of of Libra rising. If you have never seen your chart in terms of true sidereal astrology, I highly recommend that you hit me up, shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, provide me with all your birth information. So that would be your birth date, your birth time, and your place of birth. And I will be more than happy to send you a copy of your true sidereal chart uh, for free, absolutely for free, no charge whatsoever. I'm really passionate about bringing this energy to the collective and giving people the opportunity to see what it looks like for them, okay? Now, if you would like to go a little bit further and have a session with me in terms of natal chart interpretation, I am absolutely available for that. Again, just shoot me an email. My email can be found in the description box below. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I will be more than happy to book a session with you. And as always, if you're looking for just a general tarot reading or just an energy in uh, check-in or you have some questions, I'm also available for just a, a perfectly general tarot reading. Again, check the information in the description box below where I list my email and the readings that I offer. Let me know you're interested and I will be very, very happy to get you all hooked up. Yeah. All right, Libra, let's get into this. So for the month of September for you, my big focus, I was drawn to looking at your ruling planet, which is beautiful Virgo. Now, lay up late, Virgo has been transiting through your 10th house, which is your house of career and uh, career goals and all that. But it's also the house of um, per people's perspective of you, you know, your, 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 uh, the way you look or how people perceive you in the outside world in terms of the collective. But because we're thinking of, of, um, Venus here, your ruling planet, the feeling that I was getting for you is that, um, there may have been a lot of comparison or comparing the beauty of your life or lack thereof to that of others. And it may have caused a lot of despair if the comparison is not necessarily to your liking. Okay. Or at the very least, it could have helped you point out, uh, what you may want to bring more of in terms of beauty and love in your life. On the other hand, it could have helped you see how your life is really quite beautiful and could be influencing you to want to make changes or help make changes for the people around you, okay? And that's where we get into how Venus will be progressing. So as of September 6th, uh, Venus will have moved into your 11th house of your hopes and your fears and or wishes, joining the sun. Currently, the sun has, or lately, the sun has been moving through through your 11th house, giving you a focus on your hopes and fears and wishes, okay? The first card that you have here is the King of Wands. So with Venus moving into your 11th house, joining up with 
the sun, the sun placing a focus on your hopes and dreams and wishes. I really feel like there is going to be a push um, for you to start making changes, okay? With this King of Wands energy, the King of Wands is an energy of looking for the opportunities that in, are in alignment with what his desires are. And then once those opportunities present themselves, it's all about taking action. Okay. So with Venus and the sun being in your 11th house, by the time of the 6th of September, there could really be a drive to create that, which you would really like to see more of in terms of beauty, um, fabulousness and love. And maybe even, maybe even your finances too, because Venus does have dominion over money and finances. Okay. But also Venus is, uh, represents your values, your core values, what you really find beauty of, what your aesthetic is in life, okay? So um, either you could be working on creating a better situation for yourself or you could be working on creating a better situation for others. But the real, the fact of the matter or the point is King of Wands energy, having that confidence in yourself to seek the opportunities to create more of what it is you desire in your life. Now, if you're looking for love, this could be a really great time for you to get out there and meet new people. You could be joining dating sites or more or new social groups. Okay. Venus and the sun moving through your 11th house in Leo, by the way, is a really great time to allow the true natural beauty of who you are to shine out to the masses. Let's go a little bit deeper. Let me show you the chart here. Oops. That says Virgo. Don't mind that. Oh no, wait, hold on. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> Sorry about that, Libra. I don't know what happened. I set everything up, but there seems, uh, uh, but it seems that my system didn't catch up or keep up with what I was going for. But here we go. It's all fixed. This is the chart for Libra for the month of September of 2022. As of September 1st, this is what the chart is going to look like for you. So Ver uh, Venus will be finishing her transit through your 10th house in the sign of Leo. Okay. And then she's by the 6th of September. She's going to have made her way into your 11th house here. Six, there we go. There you have it. Venus moving into your 11th house, joining up with the sun. Again, this is really giving you a drive towards creating what it is you really hope and wish for when it comes to beauty and maybe even money and finances and also potentially even love. Now, the other thing that's really helping you with this or maybe could be helping drive the uncovering or of what it is you truly desire or what I want to say how, I, how it feels here is is driving you towards the uh, making actively making those transformations in your life in terms of what it is you truly want to see or receive in your life, whether this is love or just the aesthetic or like money, that would come from Mars. Now, Mars is transiting through uh, Taurus at this time. Mars is going to be making his way through Taurus, both directly and with a bit of retrograde until the month of the end of March of 2023. So you're really going to have an extended period of time to take the action that is necessary to drive that transformation for you. Okay. Um, yeah, this is really, this is really, really excellent for you, uh, Libra. Then let's, let's move forward a little bit more. We're going to move forward to the 9th of September. This is not only when we have our next full moon, which will be in the sign of Aquarius. The full moon is going to be, uh, direct or exact, on in the late hours of September 9th into the early morning hours of September 10th. Now, the sun will still be in the, uh, the constellation of Leo in the 11th house, and the moon is going to be in the constellation of Aquarius in your fifth house. So there is strong Leo and Aquarius energy. And the big feeling for the collective for this full moon is having the opportunity to bring out, to bring forward what it is you are or how it is you're wanting to express yourself in new, different, or better ways, bringing that out towards the collective, right? So with this full moon energy, especially for you, Libra, the moon being in the fifth house ruled by Leo while the sun is in Leo, and then the sun is in the 11th house, with it, which is 
technically or originally ruled by Aquarius, where the, the moon is going to be in the sign of Aquarius. Again, all of this energy is really promoting you or could be helping promote you towards or drive you towards bringing that expression out into the collective, okay? So this is another reason why it really could be a great time for you to branch out, meet new people, join new social groups or dating sites, especially if you're looking for love. This also could be a moment for you to reach out to uh, to new people, um, maybe if you're looking to transform your body or if you're looking to whatever this is, whatever you're looking to transform in your life, this could also be a really good time for you to reach out to those experts or to those people that could really help you drive this transformation. Now, the other thing about this month is that we do have Mercury retrograde. For you, Libra, Mercury is retrograding from uh, your 12th house in Virgo into the 11th house, okay? So this for you, again, is more drive towards the 11th house and energy. Um, I do feel like this Mercury retrograde is helping us to helping to pull us backwards in many cases. But in that case, there's been a lot of transformation that's desired for the collective. But for you, Libra, I'm really feeling like it's really helping or influencing you to pull back and really start to re transform your habits, your routines, and all that kind of stuff in terms of how Venus, the Empress is the next card that just came out for you, how Venus is influencing you to upgrade or rejuge your life, yeah? Mercury retrograde is a really great time to rewrite that programming. And with Mercury making his retrograde motion through one of his home signs of Virgo, Virgo being that sign of health and wellness and routines, it really is giving you an express and beautiful opportunity to rewrite that programming, start that new training regimen, learn those new processes or learn the new ways that you can build and grow and expand your aesthetic in terms of what it is you truly dream of. That Mercury and retrograde moving from your 12th house to your 11th house is really helping to pull you back and refocus your life in terms of how it is you want to be moving forward towards your wishes, your goals, and your dreams. Hold on a second. I have some cards that fell out here. And I'm actually, I'm actually going to take all of them. Um, there really isn't anything necessarily that I want to talk about with the chart. So let's switch the view here. Oh, well, actually, I could point this out for you. If you look down towards the bottom of the of the chart, you do have Saturn in your fourth house right now uh, in the constellation of Capricorn, okay? Um, and that is, and Saturn is retrograde. Again, another retrograde motion, another great time to rework something, rewrite some sort of programming. But with Saturn, especially in one of his home signs of Capricorn, this can help you rewrite that uh, or reshape that foundation or that structure, how it is you move forward. If there are any sort of negative habits that you have or just habits that don't are not conducive to what it is you really want to have in your life, one of the first cards that came out in this pile that just fell is the Five of Swords. That Saturn retrograde through your fourth house, okay, of, of nurturance and love and care can really help you to rewrite those things. But let's see here. I want to move, I want to talk about the cards that just fell out here. The first card that came out that it, it well, the, the only card that came out face up is the Five of Swords, okay? There is something about, uh, I want to say self-sabotage, ways that you may have sabotaged yourself negative or unhealthy habits maybe even unhealthy self-beliefs that you really could be dropping your sword of fighting with and walking away from but let's see what these other cards are you have five other cards here okay all of this is reversed but that's i feel number one that's because it all fell but i'm taking it as it fell right and this is in conjunction with the five of swords so what you have here is the five of cups the world, the sun, the tower, and the six of swords, okay? But all of this is reversed. But all of this is only reversed, Libra, because there seems to have been some sort of self-sabotage here. I feel like up until now, or at least up until this moment, you, are, have, you may have been resisting all of this. You may have been resisting the truth, the awareness that could have helped 
break down certain processes, certain cycles, but I'm also really feeling certain belief systems about yourself, the nature of your reality, or maybe what it is you're truly capable of if, capable of if you really want to reshape your life. I feel like there's been resistance here towards that, that has been keeping this cycle from closing out and effectively moving you forward. Six of swords, okay? But for this, Libra, you are really being encouraged to face the heartache face the music, face the pain, because Libra, it's the pain that's going to show you where you can really transform your life. If you can allow yourself to flow through this pain and allow the awareness that comes from this pain to help bring down the tower or bring down the associated circumstances or belief systems or belief structures or just long-standing circumstances, you could effectively bring the end of this cycle. This could be a long, long-awaited thing for you here. There really could have been a lot of resistance. And actually, let me go back to the chart because there's something else that I want that I saw here that really could be working you through this. And that would be Uranus. Now, as you see, Uranus is in the constellation of Aries in your home, in your home house of the seventh house. This is ruled by Libra. Uranus has been moving through the constellation of Aries, and that's really been helping to reshape our sense of selves here, okay? So allow this reshaping or this understanding, this awareness to come to you. Allow yourself to feel through this energy, five of cups and the sun, so that you can move forward and effectively break down these walls, break down these barriers, break down these belief systems to close out this cycle so that you can step into the new for you, so that you no longer are in this time period or this energetic state of sabotaging yourself, maybe even sabotaging others. That is what I heard because really, the focus for you, Libra, is getting in that confident state of mind so that you can move forward towards what Venus is influencing for you because Venus really wants you to feel beautiful, to have the love, the romance, the care that you desire, to have all the beautiful things that you love to have in life. This really, a lot of this Five of Swords energy could really have been closing you off to how beautiful your life truly is and how even more beautiful it could be. It's all about letting go of this self-sabotaging energy to close out those cycles so that you do have the confidence and you do have the ability to see the opportunities and take advantage of those opportunities to go after what it is you truly want to transform your life in really beautiful ways. Yeah. So really take advantage of this this month, Libra. Also take advantage of the fact that Mars is moving through Taurus in your eighth house, really giving you that tenacity, that follow through to make those big transformations. It's about you, Libra, at this time. Allow it to be about you. And if you really want to transform your life, draw on the energies of the universe that you have at your disposal. Mars moving through Taurus in your eighth house, really driving you towards that transformation. Venus in the 10th house showing you where you could really change things, how you could make things more beautiful, what showing you examples of what it is you want to see, or maybe even transforming how people, other people see you, transforming your body, transforming your mindset that really transforms your energy, and the sun and Venus ultimately moving through your 11th house here, putting a focus on your wishes and dreams. Yes, Libra? Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please do not hesitate to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonated for you. Press that subscribe button if you would like more messages through the guise of true sidereal astrology and also just more general messages because there are more messages to come throughout the month. And if you would like a natal chart uh, interpretation session with me or just a general tarot reading, looking at those energies for you and getting you the guidance that spirit has for you at the moment, definitely don't hesitate to email me. My email can be found in the description box below, along with a list of the readings that I offer. But with that said, Libra, I hope you really have a beautiful and fantastic month. I am sending you so much unconditional love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beautiful. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.